look at the second part of our connective tissue proper discussion. Uh, we've done uh, we've done loose connective, and now we're going to do dense connective. So we've got a dense proper connective CT, and the two types we mentioned there were dense regular CT, and then we had dense irregular CT. That's the way people refer to it as just dense regular and dense irregular. So for dense regular and dense irregular, let's just think about what those words mean. Dense regular means organized. Right? I think I'm going to come over here. And we'll draw it to the side. So let's put the characteristics down here. So this is organized. And there's our word regular. So the word regular should tell you that this is organized tissue. I think of it as very strong, like steel cables. Okay, so this is organized in one direction, uh, similar to what you would think about with a uh, tendon, going from a muscle to a tendon. If that muscle were in a line, say a, a straight line like your biceps brachii. So we're thinking about uh, straight, straight collagen arrangement arrangement with fibroblasts at intervals. And so let's draw what that might look like. If we're thinking about these are steel cables and we might be at the end of a muscle. So let me go ahead and add a muscle in here. And then we'll turn it into dense regular CT where it would end on a bone. So if this is our muscle tissue here, we're just putting dense regular CT and then it would attach down here uh, at a bone. You can think about the wrist bones, known as the carpals, where we would have a terrible version of the metacarpals coming off of that. So, well, we're just thinking about uh, a forearm muscle here and a tendon, and so this direction is straight, and we know that this is a strong steel cable. So this portion here would be our dense, regular CT of a tendon. And what that would look like as our example, just very simply, just going to draw some straight collagen right and remember I'm going to put those fibroblasts in the middle not sure why I like making them green but I do so those can be our little fibroblasts, and then we're going to continue and just put some more straight collagen down here at the bottom. Okay, so let's label that. These are straight bands of collagen. You could say they were regular. And then this little guy is a fibroblast. Okay, so we've got some fibroblasts and then we've got some regularly arranged collagen. Let's look at dense irregular, and the name should tell you that this is disorganized. 
disorganized meaning random. There's not much that's truly disorganized in the body, but let's say disorganized or random. And this is still extremely strong because it's collagen fibers again. So this is very strong. But these fibers run in all different directions. So let's say collagen in many directions, kind of like crisscrossing. Now, why would we want to do that? Because we want to give strength to something uh, in that's being pulled in different directions all at once. You could think about the dermis of the skin or the capsule around a joint. So just for examples, let's say the dermis, which is the, what you would know as leather, or how about a fibrous joint capsule around a synovial joint. So over on the other one for dense regular, I drew a tendon, and that's a good example of our organized straight steel cables. Now we need a disorganized version. And then this one is going to go in all different directions. And again, this is mostly collagen. And I am going to crisscross it here. And then we're just going to throw some other ones in here just to give the semblance that there is a less random <laughs> than the dense regular. So let's say this is a joint capsule. Let me draw a little bit of that. Here again is a sagittal view of maybe a finger and cross section. And I'm just drawing the same drawing that we drew for the joints video series here, where this would be the fibrous joint capsule holding two bones together or articulations. We'll use that word in anatomy and phys too. And so of course from the side it looks like this with the capsule here covering where the two ends of the bones meet. And if you want to extrapolate just a little bit and think, well, what's in here? Now we might want to look at our next character in our discussion when we look at structural connective tissue. And now we're going to see that there's little cartilage at the ends of those long bones. So we're, we're surrounding the fibrous joint with a crisscrossing meshwork of irregular collagen created by fibroblasts. Let's throw a couple of those in there. Because somebody's got to be around to make the fibers. But this is in many directions, hence the word irregular. All right, so we might see that around a joint capsule. So we have these two drawings. This one for dense regular and this one for dense irregular.